It's post time for the eighth race, the second elimination of the graduate. Top five finishers make next Saturday's rich final. They're at the post, heading toward the start. And they're off, and there goes Garrick, who is gunning hard from the outside. Miller trying to clear him before the first turn. Arbro Positive shows some speed. He hustles up and grabs the inside position. Racing in third is Goliath Bayama. Strong Scooter is following Garrick's move up on the outside for Campbell. Racing in fifth is Rampant Jade. Space Shuttle took an early tuck. He's on hurry. Then it's time share in. And Red Bow Tie is racing from the back of the pack tonight, trailing the field as they head past the corner 26 and 3. And Strong Scooter is now driven on to the point. Gehrig is yielding grudgingly to second. Armbro positive a length and a half. Back in third. He's up on the bit there. Glath Bayama racing fourth. Rampant Jade is fifth. Timeshare in trying to get some cover flow going as they head toward the half mile marker. Space Shuttle is trapped and shuffled, and Red Bowtie on the outside is following cover. Goliath Bayama now comes first over from fourth position as Strong Scooter backs into him a bit. The half was in 55 and 1. Garrig is sitting the pocket in second. Goliath Bayama first up on the outside, trying to work his way closer. Armbro Positive is shuffled back. Time share in the second over on the outside from fifth. Rapid Jade, a rail ride throughout. Red Bow Tie third over. He's about seven lengths from the lead. And Space Shuttle was kicked to the tail of the field and trails as they head to a three-quarter. Strong Scooter leads it. Goliath Bayama turns up the heat. He's moving closer on the outside. Three-quarters in one, 23 and four. Garrig is had a nice trip. He'll need to shake free from the box, though. Trapped in there. And Campbell is going to work on Strong Scooter. Goliath Bayama is wearing him down on the outside. He's taking the lead. Garrick trying to shake free. And Red Bow Tie is charging hard for Luke from the back of the pack on the outside. Space Shuttle on the far outside. Goliath Bayama, Red Bow Tie, and Space Shuttle. Red Bow Tie gets there in 150 and three fifths. Results have now been posted official and returning to the winner's circle, the people's horse, Red Bow Tie, who comes charging hard to take the second graduate elimination, second winner for Luke Willette. He's a raging glory seven-year-old gelding out of Cheers Lomont by Royce. The trainer is Monty Gelrod for Cliff Siegel, TLP Stables, De Elegant Stables, and David Scharf, who's had a big night tonight in graduate action, Red Bow Tie with over 2.5 million in the bank is back. He comes storming home to take a limb number two in 150 and three fifths. Number seven, Red Bow Tie pays 1760, 760 and 420. Second, number two, Goliath Bayama, 580, 440. And finishing third, number five, Space Shuttle, 360. Exacta 72 pays 10380. Trifecta 725, $317 and 60 cents. In the upcoming ninth race, number six, he's a hot one, is sick and has been scratched. Exacta trifecta and pick three wagering. No other pick three changes. The post time in 14 minutes at 10.15. Winter circle ceremonies continue for the eighth race. Momentarily, Bob Hollywood Hayden will speak with the winning connections. We're joining the winner's circle here, the second uh, elimination here for the graduate and Cliff Siegel with Red Bowtie. Cliff, you've had a good run with Red Bowtie. A lot of people seem to think it might be coming to an end. Uh, what about you coming into the race? Well, we, we certainly hope not, but uh, the, the horse has been a great horse. He's been a world champion, and we feel the time has come to race him a little more conservatively, take him off the pace, as Luke has urged us to do, and uh, we feel the, the best is still yet to come. He's fooled us before. He's come back from just about everything. Is it possible he can come back and be right there on the wire in the graduate final? Well, we'll, we'll certainly see next week, and uh, we'll hope for the best. Okay, Luke Roulette, Red Bow Tie. Rumors of his demise have been greatly exaggerated. The old Red Bow Tie seemed like he he loved the stretch here. He raced him off the pace. Was that your strategy coming in? Yes. Well, you know, last week we were a little disappointed. You know, he had a pocket trip, and he didn't pace forward at the end of the mile. But, you know, then again, if he could talk... He may have told us he didn't feel well. He may have had a little bit of sickness. But, you know, going into this race here, we haven't taken him off the gate in the longest time. And uh, let me tell you, he felt really, really good. Tell me uh, about the, uh, the trip that you wound up getting. Well, we wound up being uh, third over. Goliath Bayama was first up. And, it, you know, he was in a good spot. But still, though, in the stretch there, when uh, it was time to go forward, he still had a lot of desire. And, uh, you know, physically, he looks better than ever. So... But we know he's got lots of miles on him. 
I'm sure he feels his aches and pains at times, but, you know, he's a great horse. Did you think top of the stretch had a chance to win? Yes, the, he, he felt like he was going to go by, and uh, I know you saw me driving on him tonight. I haven't done that in the longest time with him, but, uh, you know, he's a great racehorse. Four straight finals of the graduate next week. Could he shock again? You know what? You know, he, he never ceased to amaze me, this horse. You never know. Okay, Luke Ouellette and Red Bowtie, perfect together once again here in the graduate elimination. Thank you. Four scratch, three six, one seven, one fifty and three fifths, one A strong scooter.